Well, welcome. This is a, a short video to get this done. This is a, a Zbox uh, by uh, Zotac, and I've prepared a little bit. This is a Debian 46 net install. I have the RAM that I have to install because it's a backbone edition. I have an SSD for the system, and I'll be using the K400 by Logitech as a keyboard and mouse replacement for the time being. I've also set up a display at the back with an HDMI in to use as a temporary uh, place to get this working. But it'll have its own place once I've set it up completely. I've not yet opened this, so here we go. Nice packaging. Privacy, which I won't be using because I won't be using Windows. Uh, quick starter guide, user manual. This is an empty envelope. This should be the machine itself. This is actually the complete computer. And at the side, there should be a this is a stand to uh, let it stand upright. This is uh, the battery for the CMOS. This seems to be a Wi Fi dongle. So there's a USB Wi Fi dongle. Or is it a. Oh no, this is uh, the infrared probably for this remote, which is part of this delivery. This is the Wi-Fi antenna. There's a HDMI to VGA. Second battery. Some screws, probably for the VESA mount. This is an energy plug, I think. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Ah, this is uh, the energy plug I'll be using. And this is uh, the energy supply, which is external, which is quite good in my opinion, because it won't heat up the system itself. So I can already pre-assemble a little bit. Get this done. Remove these. plug prepared here. Okay, now to install SD and uh, the SSD and the uh, RAM. This is the PC with the Visa mount. This is uh, I won't be using this uh, most probably. There's a nice feature. Um, there's a button on the top which uh, moves the side panels as you can see hopefully. Yeah. which holds this in place until you actually press this button in the Vita mount probably for transportation the system itself has a glossy finish I don't like glossy but in this, uh, in this case I'll accept it you have to remove these two screws at the bottom you should now be able to flip this Cover up. Come on. Don't want to break the plastic. Carefully peeling it off now. Ah. This is the back. This is the inside. You can see the battery is already installed, so um, the ones that I have there are probably spare. This is where the RAM gets, and this is where the hard drive will be installed. This is where uh, the connection bay is for the hard drive. This is uh, the CPU area with an active cooler, which will actually 
and it out to the top in most cases because this is where the stand will have the bottom. Um, there are the connections up front and these are the connection back. In this case DVE and HDMI. I think the NVIDIA version has two, uh, has a display port and an HDMI, which I actually prefer, but um, yeah, I got this one, so. Okay. First thing I'll do is install the hard drive. This is uh, OZZ Vertex 3. I had it before on a, a different PC, but um, my hard drive broke, so this is the replacement, which I didn't put in the original PC. Yeah, I have to open the screw, as far as I know, to get this lifted up. And now I connect this. This is now connected. I put this back. Put the screw in to hold it in place. And this should be ready to go. Without RAM, computer won't function, so I have 8 GB of RAM. Let's take a knife. It's a 204 pin uh, as RAM slots, and they should be installed like this. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, the lower base is harder to install. You have to set it right so it'll get in here. Uh, this is a bit more than 30 degrees. And once you have probably set it in, you can press it down and it'll lock it down on these side panels. So you can probably, yep, uh, press the side panels to get it back up. Next piece of RAM, so this should be easier, so I'll try to do it visible. You just put it in so all the pins are aligned correctly, and then press it down. These notches should prevent you from getting it wrong, so this is quite easy. The computer should be assembled now, so let's put the top back. locked in place. I'll put the screws back in just to make sure. So the only um, tools I had to use was a knife to get the RAM out of its casing. And the PC should be uh, good to go. We'll do the test. I've plugged this up to this um, energy at the side. This gets here. Done without the sand. Won't stand without the sand. Yeah. You can see that this notch and this notch uh, look pretty much like so. Get them over. 
shit though. Putting the stand on is harder than the rest. Uh, if you can see, this will um, be a bit on top because um, the mount has to be pushed to the front. So, yeah, but should stand. Here's the my lead for the picture USB for the system should put it in the proper way you can actually see it's already having uh, as power uh, you probably can't see and now the little dongle for the um, mouse keyboard combination. You could already pl put in the Wi Fi uh, uh, antenna, but I probably won't use it, so I'll just keep it at that. And it seems to already be running, so let's change the input on the. In. Please don't tell me this doesn't work. Ah, okay. You have to sell power to get it done. You can actually see that it's running because there's a big green circle at the side which shows you that it's running. And to show you the screen, I'll take the camera and show it to you. This is the Zotac drumming. So, the system is already working took me probably about uh, about 10 minutes and I did choose the Babylon edition so that it would actually uh, take my CD uh, my um, SSD and my RAM I think it's quite a good purchase for the money that I paid for it Hope you like it. See you then.